Apple has rolled out a new feature called Conversation Boost for their AirPods and Beats lineup of headphones. And this feature acts almost like a hearing aid as it will simply amplify the sound of someone talking directly in front of you so that you can hear them more clearly. So in this video, I will show you how to turn this feature on. First thing you need to do is upgrade your iPhone to the latest iOS 15 version. Then the AirPods Pro or Max or Beats earbud, whichever you may have, need to be also upgraded to the latest firmware version, currently which is 4A400. Now if you do not know how to upgrade the firmware of your AirPods, then fear not, I got you, cause I know the pain, there is no straightforward way of getting that done, but let me show you how to turn on the conversation boost first, and later I will show you how to update the AirPods firmware. So let's start with turning on conversation boost. First, you need to take out the AirPods from its case and wait for it to get connected. Then put the AirPods on on your ears and now we are ready to get started. Now you need to open settings, then scroll down and select accessibility. Here you will see AirPods under the physical and motor section. So go ahead and select that and you will see a list of all your AirPods. Now we need to select the one that is already connected to your iPhone. Then select audio accessibility settings. From here, we need to select headphone accommodations and then we need to scroll to the bottom and select transparency mode. And in here, when you scroll to the bottom, you can see the toggle to turn on conversation boost. Now, as you can see that Apple has really buried this useful feature deep into their menu system, which will be very hard to find each time when you need to use it. So you can actually add a shortcut to the control center. Here you can quickly turn on this feature on or off when you need to. So to have that feature here, all you have to do is again open settings and then scroll down to the control center and then move the hearing icon by dragging it to the included control section and you are done. Alright, now let me show you how you can update the Apple AirPods Pro or Apple AirPods Max or whichever you have. So as I said, there is no straightforward way to update the firmware. You will need to connect the AirPods first with your iPhone and just start using it. Maybe you can listen to songs or whatever, but what happens is in the meantime while you're listening to songs, the firmware will start getting downloaded on your device. Depending on what your internet speed is, it may take from 10 minutes to an hour. So use your own judgment here and then after 15 or 30 minutes or whatever, take the AirPods off of your ears and put them back on the case and put it back on charge. Now this is when the firmware actually gets installed on your AirPods. So a good practice would be to charge your iPhone and the AirPods at the same time for another 20 minutes. And then you can check if the latest version of the firmware has been updated or not from the Bluetooth menu. Just click on the eye on the left hand side and scroll down to the bottom to find the version. Currently, the 4A400 is the latest version, so I know that my AirPods Pro have been upgraded. So anyways guys, thanks for watching this video, and if you liked it, then please like, share, and subscribe. This is Nafi signing off, till next week, peace.